and gentlemen, today our topic is about the grammar and what is the topic title for today? Okay, uh, present perfect, simple and present perfect continues. Okay, first of all, I want to ask you that do you have any family? What is present perfect? What is it? What do we use it? Okay, in your daily life, you are using some tenses, maybe. Maybe sometimes we are as a second language learner, we are forgetting. Uh, the name of the tenses that we are using, uh, but sometimes, most of the time, maybe by the students uh, just forgetting the name of the tenses. Okay, this is present perfect simple and present perfect continuous. That what we know about present perfect. Now I just wanna um, first of all let's start from the rules where we and then we will just go on the meaning where we use how we use it. Okay, first of all let's start from how we use present perfect? Yes, as you know, present perfect, present perfect, okay. And what is the rule, first rule that we are using for present perfect test? Do we have an idea about it? Do you remember something? For example, can we, we are using will? Will? No, so we use use for future, so thanks a lot. Okay, what about M is R? We are using M is R here. No, sorry, thanks a lot. Man. And then we are using them as a for present tense. What about, uh, uh, what about can, can, you know, this is, this is more so it's not, it cannot be. What about have and has, these are used with present verb. But what kind of word that we are using verb, yes, after that, but we are using ing or other kinds of things. So perfect tense is always used with. Yes, and past participle form. That is our rule, right? So if we know our rule now, we can easily just make some sentences about for the level of seventh grade and eighth grade students. It's easy to understand, to use, or to remember the tense. Okay, okay, guys. This is the present perfect tense rule that we are using. So can you give me an example of present perfect tense that we will do now? But I just want to ask you that the other tenses, present perfect, continues. Present, yes, perfect, perfect, and but present perfect also it will be continuous also, yeah. So what can be the rule for the present perfect continuous, right? So we know the present perfect rule, right? So first of all we are really using have and has for the di it's different from the subject maybe are you with the, with the plural subject where you have uh, with the then with the singular subjects he she we are using has so what about the verb tree form so we are using be yes this is the as you know what which uh, what was it so as you know be and then the second form this is verb one and was verb was the second form of the be right so was very is the second form of the verb two, and what about the b? B is the b as the uh, past participle form of the b. So we we, are, we have used again the same rule, but with the verb itself we are using was. Sorry, let me just clean this part not to confuse you maybe. So verb, but do you remember continuous from somewhere else? Yes, okay, present code. What we are using? Yes, and is on and verb ing form as the same one with the continuous one. So if you are continuous, if you are using continue in the English also, we mostly use ing form, right? Guys, so this will be our present perfect continuous rule to make a sentence, to create, to produce a sentence. Okay, guys. So Let's look at here. There are some examples here. If you know these ones, we can easily understand, we can easily answer these questions of the okay, the usage. Okay. The first one, okay, let me just go on the first one. Okay, present perfect simple. Scientists have also created calls with sentences. This is present perfect simple. If you know the rule, if you remember the rule that we have written, you can easily understand, you can easily answer the question. Yes? One answer, yes. Thanks a lot. Of course, how? Scientists have also created clause and with sensor. What about the next one? Yes, the first part, 
of this example is for the uh, positive sentences and the second part of the second column is for the negative sentences the third part of for for the question part. so how we use present perfect simple with the uh, negative form how can you use if you know these ones you can easily understand how we do the uh, what present perfect negative sentences what can be the answer in the sentences? He and the blah both any 3D printed clothing yet? So, yes, he hasn't. Yes, of course he hasn't. He hasn't bought any 3D printed. As you know, as you have, we have written on the board, we have also used have and then verb three form, and the second one has and not, and then again, both. So, we have used Word 3 form again. What about the question form? How we do the questions in English that we are taking the. Um, okay? Yes. Have you ever seen? Yes. Have you ever seen a jacket? Thanks a lot for your answer. What about present perfect continuous? Let's remember the rule first. Have or has and then be and verb ing form. Again, the same thing was given in the first example. As a positive sentence, we will try to go on with the negative one and the question one. The first one, over the last few years, scientists have been developing, so scientists have been developing clothes which can record information. That's so interesting, right? Which can record information about your body. If you haven't been following my updates, if you look at the bold ones, you can easily understand how we use, okay? The perfect perfect continuous. If you haven't been following my updates on 3D printing, check out these trendy designs. What about the next one? How long? How long? How long have you been reading my blog? Yes, guys, these are the usage, how we use present perfect continuous and present perfect tense. So, let's look at the meaning a little bit. Where, where do you use? In which kind of meanings that we are using? Yes, teacher, we have used both of them, we have used present perfect tense, but in what kinds of, in what, in which side does the meaning different, okay? So, I will just write two, two examples here, and then you can easily understand where we use it or how we do it. For example, I'm writing here an example of present perfect simple tense, present perfect tense example, to make to discuss the meaning of all that, that I have, sorry, I have read that three books, three books, and so again the next one will be about the present perfect continuous tense. I have been reading, reading, reading for for three hours. So. Yes, what can be the difference between the meaning? As you see, I have read the three books. That is the, the sentence, the present perfect tense. So this is called, this is written by present perfect tense. Perfect, okay? So this is about the uh, result of the action. So how many books you have read? Three books. Three books just shows the result of the action. Okay, so how many, uh, how many, um, how many books do you have read? Three books. This is the result of your reading. This is the result of your action. So the present perfect simple tense is uh, just focusing on the result. Yes, guys. The focus on the result of your action. So what about? What about, let's look at the present perfect continuous tense, okay? I have been reading for three hours, so the stress, the focus is, is what? Yes, the duration, the period that you have spent for that action, right? So, if you are just focusing on the period, focusing on the time, focusing on the time, focusing on time period, time period, this is used for, for, with, sorry, this is used with, for, present, perfect, continuous.